Hi there, parents and caregivers. It's Miss Emily from the Learn and Play Montessori team. And I'm here to offer you some more tips and ideas on how to educate and bring out the best in your little ones. If you haven't already, click subscribe to this channel and of course, press like on this video. And let's get started. Today we're having a look at three easy STEM activities that you can do at home to start your STEM adventure with your little ones. Now STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. But it is so much more than that. It is actually a whole lot of fun. starters, STEM encourages a real-life understanding of the world. A lot of STEM activities involve experimentation, and so your child really learns how the world works around them. So essentially, it helps your children to learn by doing rather than just by reading or hearing about our daily life concepts. Not only this, but it really gets kids excited to learn about these concepts. Through learning, through doing, children experience things firsthand, and this is a lot more exciting than just reading about objects that may sink or float. Rather, do it and experiment. Experimentation leads on to the next great benefit of STEM activities, and that is allowing your child to fail and letting your child know that failing is okay because this is how we progress and we work on our previously learnt knowledge and our previously learnt activities and try to make it better until we do succeed. So let's have a look at three easy STEM activities that you could probably do at home today because you'll probably have the items. If you don't save your empty tissue roll tubes already, then you should start. Not only are they great for crafts, but they are great for this really easy STEM activity of tissue roll stacking towers. Not only does cutlery help us when filling out tummies, but it's also a great way of learning some sequencing. Collect your cutlery and lay out a sequence. Knife, fork, spoon, knife, fork, and ask your child what comes next. Sink and float is a great activity that can be repeated time and time again. Go on a treasure hunt and find some of your child's toys or some items around the house. Fill a transparent bowl with some water and have fun dropping the items into the water to discover what sinks and what floats. So there you have it, three easy STEM activities that you could do today if you really wanted to. I hope you start enjoying the world of STEM. See you next time.